Hello guys, this is Crazy Love Cake. Today I want to show you how to turn this to this. All you need is a bathroom mid drive kit like this. Before installation, you need to tear down some parts from your original bike. There are differences between different bikes, so the tools might be different. I suggest you can buy a tool kit, especially for bikes. And so, all the tools you need um, is almost included. Okay, let's see what I get in this Bafang mid motor kit. This is the battery. I took it out uh, ahead. Whoa, so heavy. This is the Bafang mid drive motor. As you can see here, 36 voltage, 350 watts. This wire is a power wire. This wire connected to the speed sensor. And this is a communication wire lead to your display and throttle and breaker. This is the 124 cable. Here connected to the motor. And here for these two for breakers. And this one for throttle. And this green one for your display. This is a small kit for the motor installation. Inside there are many little things, so be careful, don't lose them. And this is the speed sensor. The speed sensor and the magnet. This is the chain wheel and the cover. Do not mount the cover on the chain wheel head. If you do that, you need to tear the cover down when you mount the chain wheel on the motor. This is a crack. Pay attention the left or right marked here. This is the sound throttle. Uh, use it may be illegal in some regions, so pay attention. This is a full colorful display, PPC18. Also, there are various models you can choose. Here, two brake sensors. Standard kit just have two brake levers. If you are using hydraulic brake, you should choose the brake sensor. Also, you should pay extra money. That's all of the kit. Let's get started. Step 1. Remove the pedals and the crank. We need to change the pedals to the new crank, but sometimes it's very hard to tear down, so I choose to buy a new pair. Step 2. Remove the mid axle and the grip. Different mid axle needs different tools. Use the suitable tools. Step 3. Install the bar farm motor. Make sure the bottom bracket must touch the groove of the motor. Never let the chain stay touch the shoulder of the motor. If it does, that might cause damage to the internal gear. Here is a big gear inside. Also, remember lifting the motor upper. If the motor is in low position, the motor will be more likely be hit in some tough terrains. Then, tighten this pleat, this towards inside. The next nut. This nut is very important. After we tighten the pleat, uh, there might be some little gap between the bottom bracket. After we tighten this nut, the motor will bite the bottom bracket tightly with the bleed. After that, install the chain wheel. This is the chain wheel cover. Mm, I don't need that.
Then install the crank and the pedal. Pay attention to the left or right marked at here. Step 4. Install speed sensor. Uh, one thing you should take care of. The gap between the gap between sensor and the magnet should be no more than two mm. Step five: Install display. Many people would mount it at the middle of the handbar. Step 6. Install throttle. Careful if your region is not allowed the throttle. Step 7. Install the brake sensor. I found a perfect place for the brake sensor. Step 8. Install the battery. This is a down tube battery. The battery base can be installed on the down tube. Step 9. Connect cables. Color to color, pair to pair. Follow the arrow. Very easy. I suggest you install the font chain guide. If you don't have it, when you are in tough ride on bumping terrains and you are shifting gears, the chain might be fall off. The motor wire should be carefully passed. You can pass around the motor or pass inside the chain stay if you have enough space out there. Finally, hope you guys enjoy this video. Have fun with your bar from mid-drive. Subscribe me for more information. Bye.